Hello, this is July 4th, 2017. I'm doing a math babbler bit. Today, the United States turned 241 years of age. 241 is a prime number, but more than that, it's a super prime. What makes a prime number a super prime? Well, we have this sequence of prime numbers here. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and so on. Each prime number has a location in the sequence. I call it a count. So, for example, 2 is the first prime number, 3 is the second prime number, and so on. Well, what makes a prime number a super prime is if its count in the prime number sequence is a prime number, well, then it's super prime. So, for example, 2 is the first prime number. Well, one is not prime, so two is not a super prime. Three is prime number two. Two is prime, so that makes three a super prime. Five is, pri is the third prime number. Three is prime, so that makes five a super prime. Seven is the fourth prime number, but four is not prime, so seven is not a super prime. 11 is the fifth prime number, 5 is prime, so 11 is super prime. 13 is the sixth prime number, 6 is not prime, so 13 is not super prime. 17 is the seventh prime number, 7 is prime, so 17 is super prime. So let's fast forward to 241. 241 is the 53rd prime number. Uh, 53 is prime, so that makes 241 super prime. 241 equates with the year 2017. So this year uh, we are super prime aged. The last time the United States was super prime aged was in 1987, 30 years ago. Uh, there are no prime numbers between 47 and 53. So the super prime that comes before 241 is 211. That difference is 30. So that means the last time the United States was super prime aged was 1987. The super prime that comes immediately after 241 is 277. 277 is the 59th prime. 59 is a prime number, so 277 is a super prime. So that means after this year, the next time the United States is super prime aged will be the year 2053, which is 36 years from now. So uh, we have a super prime year ahead of us. We should make the most of it uh, as we can. I think that's all I have to say. End movie.